Good morning. So today I have brought you into my personal space. This is my bedroom and I'm going to show you the altar that I have in here so you guys can kind of get a feel for the energy that I got going on. All right, so my bedroom is on the south side of my house. So I like to bring a lot of fire energy into the room. Fire is also passion. So it's a great thing to have in your bedroom. So you notice I have several different candles over here that we can light during, you know, private time and incense stick for whatever setting you want to make. It just helps to, um, yeah, set the mood whether you're wanting to meditate in this space or have private time with your significant other or whatever, but that's what I like to have in my room. And you also notice a diffuser over there. I like to turn that on at night to help me sleep or, you know, if there's illness going around the house, then I can definitely put something in that helps boost our immune system. And then I've got a little trinket tray here that I use for just an offering dish for the fairies, really. Um, whatever I feel that they may want at the moment, I just put that in that little dish and um, they can come and play with it as they like. Then I've got some Jasper over here. These are fairly local to me. Um, so they're tied to the earth here um, in this region. And they're accentuating the continuous money spell that I have going on in the jar. So this is a jar of quarters that we take from and give to on a regular basis. This way money is always coming in and flowing out as it needs to. It's a continuous movement. Then I have this beautiful moon-shaped amethyst. Check this girl out. I just got this one. Amethyst is very soothing. It's very healing perfect thing for a bedroom space. This is just a little um, piece of sandstone that I got from a recent trip down to New Mexico. So that is actually just a uh, momentum piece um, to represent travels and fun times. This is pretty much the same. This is a piece that um, my husband and I bought when we were on our trip in um, Oregon. We bought it at a little glass shop in Lincoln City is amazing. They did such beautiful work and displayed on a beautiful piece of driftwood. So again, more earth element here. So we've got our fire and air. We've got water. We've got earth. We got everything that you need. Picture of my oldest when she was a teeny tiny baby. She would probably kill me for showing that, but she's not here. This is another piece of glass work. This actually was a um, memorial piece for the Echo Mountain fire from 2020. Um, there are a little bit of ashes from that fire in that glass piece and all the proceeds went to help the victims of the fire. So that was a piece that we had to get. We very much like to support our, our firefighters and their families. So then over here, we've got a nice big chunk of selenite. This is actually a candle holder, um, but it makes a great stand for my um, sphere here. And more pictures of my kids. This is also my family altar. Um, I do need to add more pictures, but it's a good start. I've got a daily card here. Today is the Three of Cups. All about community. I love this deck. So gorgeous. Um, just a little aesthetic mix of crystals. There's some fluorite. There's some jasper. There's some shungite. There's a um, little bit of amethyst. All kinds of stuff in there. This is my kid's Tooth Fairy box. So the Tooth Fairy actually came last night. So anytime my kids lose a tooth, rather than putting it under their pillow, they put it in this little bitty box and the Tooth Fairies come and pick it up. Right next to that is my crystal jewelry, mostly bracelets in there. They stay in there, it's charged. I'm not, I don't remember what these are made out of. I do know they're, um, a stone. They were a gift from my grandfather and um, his wife, Jerry, whom I love dearly. Um, Grandpa has since passed away, but they're still a big impact on my life, and I love, love, love these. So 
And I have just a few clear quartz crystals because you never know when you might need one to make a quick crystal grid. Then I've also got um, this here my cousin made and it's a memorial piece for my paternal grandfather. So I keep him here um, on the family altar. Yeah, so that's that. And then we've got um, just a, a Himalayan salt lamp. So that's good for cleansing. So I've got lots of cleansing stuff on here. I've got lots of energy stuff on here and just makes it an overall good vibe when you walk into this room. Now this isn't the only altar space in my home. I also have one in my office, in my energy healing room. And that one has a lot more on the energy healing side. So stay tuned and go watch that next video.